So, um, hold on, let me pause my TV. Where's my remote? Hold on. Okay, so, I'm mentally disabled. The stress of the job and the coworkers is what put me in the hospital. They would overwork me. Um, the last job I had, I worked at Turning Stone. I worked there for a little over a year. That was the longest job I was able to hold. Mind you, they literally sent me to the hospital three times within that year. They made me go to back, go to the hospital. They had me brought out of there by ambulance to the hospital for a psychiatric evaluation because I had a mental breakdown at work. Because they, I would get overworked and I'd push myself too hard and I'd get so overstressed and I wouldn't take care of myself and I went and over focused on the job and would just keep going and going and going and going and going until I mentally and physically couldn't handle it anymore and then I would get very irritated and upset and even my meds and my coping skills weren't helping. I've had multiple jobs. Turning Stone is the one that I held the longest because they worked with me better. They actually tried to work with me with the mental health. They worked with me on letting me use my headphones at work, which I had to use them a certain way, which is fine. I would tuck the cord down my shirt and put one headphone in and one headphone out so that I could hear what was going on around me. I kept it at a reasonable volume because that was one of my main coping skills that still is to this day. And I was able to take extra breaks if I needed to, which I refused to a lot of the times. I only did it like maybe four or five times I took the extra break within that year. And it, I didn't like doing that because I felt horrible. I'm like, I'm leaving them shorthanded. I can't do that to them. They're so back, we're so backed up. I can't do that. And it seems like every job I've worked, they see that I try to go above and beyond. And then I end up burnout bad. And, um, turning stone was very difficult because I had so many people. There were so many different languages. There were so many barriers. But it was the job I was able to hold the longest. The job before that, I worked over at um, Vernon Downs, which was only a summer position. Um, they actually wanted to keep me, but they didn't have enough open spots for work. And so I worked one summer there and then went to... Oh, my God. Sorry, I feel like I got a hiccup starting. It's weird. But anyway, it was very difficult. And I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't eating right. I wasn't really able to do much except for my job, which I even was struggling with badly. And then before that, I worked over at... Where the hell did I work? I think I worked at... I know I worked at Wendy's at one point. That was a very short-lived job. Um, that job, I got fired because I was... I, I got mad. They said, the supervisor there said, only the men were allowed to take out the trash. I didn't like that. Especially when most of the time when I was on shift, they had a 70-year-old man working taking out heavy ass garbage cans and I was pissed and I didn't know what to do and I refused to let him take him out by himself and I got right up after right up for doing so and then I told them if they fire me because I'm helping him take out garbage I would you know try to take the steps to go after them for wrongful firing or whatever you want to call it I forget the exact wording but I basically told them if they fired me for that, then I would go after them. I would call, you know, whoever I needed to call, which I wasn't sure if I was actually going to be able to or not because I suck at that. But I would at least try. 
But then they kept fucking with my schedule and I had to take the bus to get to work. So by the time I got to work, they I was showing up on days after they changed the schedule and didn't tell me. On days I wasn't supposed to be there and punching in and working. And then I wasn't showing up for the days that they scheduled me for because they would change the schedule in the middle of the week and not tell me. And then I got to the point where I was only working like one day a week and I'm like, what the hell's going on? And then they just fired me. And I wasn't very good at that job. They wanted me to remember all the sandwiches and I tried my hardest. I couldn't do it. I couldn't remember each and everything that went on the sandwiches and it was very frustrating. So they tried to put me where they could, but they wouldn't allow me to do certain things like help him with the garbage. So that was causing problems with my mental status and with my anger problems because I didn't like that and I'm stubborn and I'm not going to let a damn old man take out garbage by himself. And then I worked um, part-time at a rescue mission while I was still in school. I was in Utica and I did internship at ZEMS. When that was uh, opened up out here, Zemmins wasn't too bad, but it was only an internship. I was only there for like maybe a couple hours a day and was training. But I just, there's a lot that goes into work and it's hard and it's stressful and I can never seem to prioritize what I need to prioritize and I mean, you guys can obviously see in the way I live, I, my ADHD and my ODD and my, my freaking brain contradicts its damn self a lot. And then I overdo it in some areas and then underdo it in others. And it's like, I'm scattered. Even with my meds, I'm scattered. And I hate taking my meds. So there's a lot of times where I will refuse to take my meds for days and then my apartment goes to hell and my and yeah, I hate taking my meds I really do and then I got people calling me a drug addict and I'm like I didn't even take my meds today like I don't do drugs like a lot of people in the comments are saying oh if you don't do drugs huh? which you didn't say that but a lot of people are saying that and I'm like I've never flipping on drugs that the doctors didn't make me take or tell me to take. I hate taking meds. The other day I took one of my meds for pain because I literally couldn't move. I could barely get out of my bed to go to the bathroom. And I felt horrible because I took one of my uh, muscle relaxers so that I could actually move to take care of my kids. Like, I hate taking my meds, and I had to when I was working. I had no choice, and I I just, I can't seem to hold a fucking job. No matter what I freaking do, I can't do it. I've tried so freaking hard, and now if I tried, when am I going to, when? Most of the damn time, I'm doing this, that, and the other appointment for me, and doing appointments for each of the kids, and then bringing them back and forth to school. I babysit once in a while. But I don't really, I don't charge people to babysit. And I just ask them, you know, if they're going to be staying for a while, just bring food and snacks for them or something so that, you know, it doesn't, because everything's expensive. But I help where I can. I helped somebody carry groceries to their door after they got off the bus the other day. I, on my walk home, I... Help the community where I can because I can't hold a job, but I can help with some stuff. But it's just, I know I can't do it, and I tried. I've tried multiple times, and right now if I tried, it would be too complicated to do. And before I had kids, I was looking for a job. I was trying to find a job, and nobody was hiring a person with my that I would be able to do that job. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody wanted to hire me. So it is what it is. So I got my site and I'll have it for life. So, yep.